We're off the coast of Somalia. Red Sea and Suez Canal are up there. The Indian Ocean, just down that way. It's the busiest shipping lane in the world. More than 20,000 ships go past here every year. That's more than 50 ships a day. For these pirates, it's a smorgasbord of untold riches. The huge and often unpredictable oceans, Somali pirates pose a real threat to ships and their crews. Various encounters have highlighted the reality of modern piracy, revealing how these pirates operate and the responses from international naval forces. From hijacking cargo ships to engaging in confrontations with navies, these incidents shed light on the ongoing risks in key maritime regions. We'll take a closer look at these real-world piracy events and 20 instances where pirates messed with the wrong navy. Number 1. Battle of Minikoi Island, 2011 In 2011, during the Battle of Minikoi Island, Indian naval forces faced off against Somali pirates. The pirates were using a ship called the Prentale 14 as their base, known as a mother ship. This confrontation was a significant one in the fight against piracy. The Indian Navy discovered the Prantelay 14 and two smaller boats, called skiffs, chasing a commercial ship. The pirates tried to escape when they realized they were spotted, but the Navy ships quickly caught up. Recognizing the potential for a high seas standoff, the Navy initiated negotiations, attempting to resolve the situation without violence. However, the pirates, determined to maintain control of their prize, responded with aggression. This forced the Navy to take decisive action to protect the commercial vessel and its crew, ensuring the safety of international shipping lanes. Armed with both sophisticated weaponry and a strategic understanding of anti-piracy operations, the Indian Navy meticulously planned their approach. They employed non-lethal tactics at first, aiming to minimize harm and encourage the pirates to surrender peacefully. However, as the situation escalated, they were compelled to use controlled force. The precise use of firepower disabled the Prantale 14, leading to its eventual sinking. This action highlighted the Navy's capability to effectively manage pirate threats, prioritizing human life and safety. After a long standoff, the Navy used controlled force to disable the Prantale 14. The pirate ship caught fire and eventually sank. The Indian Navy then focused on rescuing everyone aboard. They managed to save not only the pirates, who were then taken into custody, but also several sailors who had been on the Prantale 14 against their will. The captured pirates faced legal consequences for their actions. This event showed the effectiveness of the Indian Navy in dealing with pirate threats and highlighted the importance of international efforts to maintain safety at sea. Number 2. Spanish Navy's Encounter with Patino, 2012 in 2012, the Spanish Navy's oiler Patino faced an unexpected challenge. While on a mission, this naval vessel encountered seven armed Somali pirates. The pirates mistakenly thought Patino was an easy target and attempted to hijack it. The crew of Patino was quick to respond. They tried to keep the pirates at bay, using the ship's defenses to protect themselves and the vessel. Despite the pirates' persistence, the crew members held their ground, ensuring the ship was not easily overtaken. Before the helicopter's intervention, the pirates attempted a direct assault on the Patino, using a skiff to approach at high speed. They were armed with automatic weapons and RPGs, aiming to intimidate and overpower the crew. The Patino's crew employed non-lethal measures initially, such as water cannons and maneuvering techniques, to deter the pirates and prevent them from boarding. These efforts were critical in delaying the pirates, buying time for aerial support to arrive and change the course of the encounter. The turning point came when the Patino's SH-3 Sea King helicopter joined the action. The helicopter's arrival intensified the situation for the pirates, who realized they were outmatched. Facing the combined might of the Patino and its aerial support, the pirates had no choice but to surrender. The Spanish Navy's successful defense of the Patino highlights the importance of being prepared and the effectiveness of a well-coordinated response in deterring piracy. The incident demonstrates the bravery and skill of naval personnel in protecting their vessel and upholding maritime security. Number 3. German Navy's Spee Engagement, 2009 In 2009, the German Navy's supply ship, the Spessart, found itself in a dangerous situation when it was attacked by Somali pirates. 
The pirates likely saw the Spessart as a vulnerable target, but they were mistaken. The ship was equipped with a trained security detail ready to defend it. As the pirates attempted to board the Spessart, the security team sprang into action, using their training to protect the crew and the vessel. Their quick response ensured that the pirates couldn't gain control of the ship. Initially, the pirates, undeterred by the visible defenses of the Spessart, approached aggressively in a skiff, opening fire in an attempt to intimidate the crew and secure the ship for hijacking. The security team, however, managed to repel the initial boarding attempt with a combination of defensive maneuvers and non-lethal deterrence, showcasing their readiness and also their ability to effectively manage a high-stress situation without escalating violence. But the encounter didn't end there. Other naval forces in the area, including Dutch, Greek, and U.S. NATO and EU warships, came to the Spessart's aid. Leveraging advanced surveillance and coordination capabilities, these forces launched a pursuit of the fleeing pirate skiff across the high seas. The operation showcased an impressive display of international naval cooperation and strategic planning, underlining the global commitment to combating piracy. The pirates were eventually captured, thanks to the combined effort of the different navies. Their apprehension involved meticulous tracking and coordination among the naval ships, demonstrating the tactical advantage of multinational cooperation in maritime security operations. Do you think the Navy made a smart move here? Like this video if you think so and subscribe to this channel. Number 4. Royal Navy's Fort Victoria Operation, 2011 In 2011, the Royal Navy's Fort Victoria played a crucial role in stopping Somali pirates from hijacking a Spanish fishing vessel. This operation showcased the effectiveness of quick and coordinated naval action in the face of piracy. When pirates targeted the Spanish fishing vessel, the Fort Victoria was quick to respond. The Royal Navy's ship was equipped and ready to deal with such threats, ensuring the safety of those aboard the fishing vessel. The operation began with the Fort Victoria receiving intelligence about the pirate threat near the Spanish vessel's location. Utilizing its state-of-the-art surveillance equipment, the Fort Victoria was able to quickly locate the pirate skiff and assess the situation. The decision to deploy a helicopter was made swiftly, showcasing the ship's capability for rapid reaction to unfolding events at sea. The Fort Victoria launched a helicopter to pursue the pirates, who were trying to escape after realizing they were outmatched. The helicopter chase was intense, with the pirates in a smaller, fast-moving skiff trying to evade capture. During the pursuit, the helicopter crew utilized tactics to outmaneuver the skiff, gradually closing the distance while maintaining constant communication with the Fort Victoria for support. Eventually, the pirates were forced to stop, and seven of them were captured. The operation involved careful coordination between the helicopter crew and the Fort Victoria, ensuring that the pirates were apprehended without harm to themselves or any civilians. This successful capture was facilitated by the seamless teamwork and the advanced capabilities of the Royal Navy. Number 5. Operation Dawn 8. Samho Jewelry, 2011. In 2011, South Korean forces carried out a well-coordinated operation named Operation Dawn 8 to rescue the Samho jewelry tanker, which had been hijacked by Somali pirates. This operation was a significant display of effective counter-piracy tactics. The Samho jewelry, a chemical tanker, was seized by pirates in the Arabian Sea. The South Korean Navy, understanding the gravity of the situation, quickly planned a rescue operation to free the ship and its crew. Before the operation, South Korean authorities engaged in intense surveillance and reconnaissance to gather as much information as possible about the pirates' positions and the condition of the crew. Utilizing satellite imagery and intelligence from multinational anti-piracy forces operating in the region, they were able to devise a strategy that minimized risks to the hostages. The operation involved meticulous planning and precise execution. South Korean forces used their naval and special operations teams to approach the tanker, ensuring they had the element of surprise on their side. Stealth and darkness were used to their advantage, allowing the naval commandos, known as the UDT SEALs, to get close without detection. When the South Korean commandos boarded the Samho jewelry, they encountered resistance from the pirates. A brief, 
but intense firefight ensued. However, the well-trained and equipped commandos managed to overcome the pirates, securing the vessel and ensuring the safety of all crew members. The commandos' rigorous training in close-quarter combat and hostage rescue operations proved invaluable, allowing them to neutralize the pirate threat with precision and minimal collateral damage. The operation resulted in the capture of the pirates, who were then brought to justice. Five pirates were killed during the operation, and the rest were detained. The freed crew members, although shaken, were unharmed and grateful for their rescue. This successful mission demonstrated the effectiveness of South Korea's naval capabilities and their commitment to protecting their citizens and assets against piracy. Number 6. MV Sirius Star Ransom, 2008 In 2008, Somali pirates captured the MV Sirius Star, a massive oil tanker, marking one of the most significant and high-profile piracy incidents. This event highlighted the lucrative aspect of piracy, as the pirates demanded a substantial ransom for the release of the vessel and its crew. The MV Sirius Star, loaded with valuable cargo and crew, became a prime target for the pirates, who saw an opportunity for a huge payoff. The tanker was carrying an estimated 2 million barrels of oil, valued at approximately $100 million at the time, making the hijacking not just a threat to the crew's safety, but also a significant economic blow. Once the pirates had control of the tanker, they anchored it off the Somali coast, demanding a ransom, showcasing the financial motivations behind their operations. Negotiations ensued between the pirates and the owners of the Sirius Star, facilitated by professional negotiators who worked tirelessly to ensure the safety of the 25-member crew comprising citizens from various countries. The situation drew international attention, highlighting the complexities of maritime law and the limitations of international efforts to combat piracy in international waters. Eventually, a ransom of $3 million was paid to secure the release of the tanker and its crew. The payment was made in cash, dropped by parachute onto the deck of the Sirius Star, a method that has become a standard procedure in such piracy incidents. The release of the Sirius Star after two months of captivity was a relief to the international community, but also served as a stark reminder of the high stakes involved in modern piracy. The incident with the MV Sirius Star sparked discussions on how to address piracy effectively, considering the financial incentives for pirates. The Sirius Star hijacking led to calls for increased naval patrols in the Gulf of Aden and the Somali Basin, as well as the establishment of the internationally recommended transit corridor. Tell us what you think about this incident in the comments down below. Number 7. Moscow University Liberation, 2010 In May 2010, the MV Moscow University, a Liberian-flagged Russian tanker, found itself in peril. Carrying 86,000 tons of crude oil worth $52 million, it was a lucrative target for Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. The pirates boarded the vessel about 500 nautical miles off Somalia's coast, capturing the ship and its crew. The crew, however, managed to lock themselves in a secure area of the ship, effectively trapping themselves but staying safe from the pirates. Upon receiving the distress signal, the Russian Navy's Marshal Shaposhnikov, a large anti-submarine ship, made haste towards the MV Moscow University's location. The urgency of the situation was clear. Not only were the lives of the crew at stake, but also the vast cargo of oil, which posed a significant environmental risk if the confrontation turned violent. Responding swiftly, the Russian Navy dispatched the destroyer Marshal Shaposhnikov to the scene. The rescue operation began with a helicopter overflight, assessing the situation. Then, special forces boarded the tanker, engaging the pirates. The operation was tense, involving gunfire, but ended successfully with the crew's safety secured. The pirates, initially confident in their control over the tanker, were caught off guard by the precision and speed of the Russian commando's assault. The special forces used a combination of tactical maneuvers to subdue the pirates, minimizing the risk to the crew and ensuring the successful retaking of the vessel. Ten pirates were arrested in the operation, and tragically, one pirate was killed. 
The decisive action by the Russian forces freed the Moscow University and its crew and also served as a powerful deterrent to future piracy attempts in the region. Number 8. MV Iceberg 1. Hostage Crisis, 2010. In 2010, the MV Iceberg 1, carrying a cargo of mechanical equipment, became a hostage under Somali pirates off the coast of Aden. The situation quickly turned into one of the longest hostage crises in modern maritime history, lasting nearly three years. The multinational crew of 24 found themselves in a dire situation, isolated from the world and facing harsh conditions. Throughout this ordeal, the crew's survival was a daily battle against inadequate food, unclean water, and the psychological toll of captivity. Their desperation was palpable, with pleas for rescue going unanswered for months on end. The ship owner's decision to abandon both the vessel and its crew only worsened the situation, leaving the crew's fate uncertain. The turning point came in December 2012, when the Puntland Maritime Police Force launched a daring rescue operation. After a tense firefight with the pirates, the authorities were able to free the 22 surviving crew members. This operation ended the crew's long nightmare and highlighted the severe human cost of piracy. Number 9. HMCS Winnipeg's Anti-Piracy Efforts, 2009 In 2009, the Canadian warship HMCS Winnipeg joined a multinational effort to combat the surge of piracy off the coast of Somalia. Tasked with safeguarding one of the world's busiest shipping lanes, the Winnipeg played a crucial role in deterring pirate attacks in the Gulf of Aden. During its deployment, the warship faced both legal and operational challenges, typical of the complex nature of international maritime security efforts. On one notable occasion, the Winnipeg responded to a distress call from a cargo ship under pirate attack. Demonstrating quick action and coordination, the Canadian crew deployed their Sea King helicopter, which played a pivotal role in thwarting the pirates' attempt. The helicopter's presence was enough to deter the attackers, showcasing the effectiveness of air support in anti-piracy operations. However, the HMCS Winnipeg's efforts were not without controversy. After capturing pirates in one operation, the crew faced the dilemma of dealing with the suspects. Due to international legal challenges and jurisdictional issues, the decision was made to disarm and then release the pirates. This incident highlighted the complexities of prosecuting piracy suspects and the need for international cooperation and legal frameworks to address such challenges adequately. The HMCS Winnipeg's anti-piracy efforts in 2009 shows the challenges and necessities of naval patrols in piracy-prone areas. These operations require military precision and a nuanced understanding of international law. Number 10. Maersk, Alabama Hijacking, 2009 In April 2009, the Maersk, Alabama, a U.S.-flagged cargo ship, became the center of a high-stakes drama when it was hijacked by Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. This was the first successful pirate seizure of a U.S.-flagged ship in 200 years, turning the incident into a global news sensation. The ship's captain, Richard Phillips, was taken hostage on a lifeboat, setting the stage for a tense standoff. The U.S. Navy responded quickly, deploying the USS Bainbridge, a guided missile destroyer, to the scene. Negotiations began, but the situation remained volatile. The pirates demanded a ransom for the captain's release, threatening his life. The situation culminated in a daring nighttime operation by U.S. Navy SEAL snipers. Perched on the deck of the Bainbridge, the SEALs had a clear line of sight to the lifeboat. With Captain Phillips' life in imminent danger, the snipers took action. In a coordinated strike, they eliminated three pirates with three shots, securing the captain's freedom without harm to him. The Maersk, Alabama hijacking and the dramatic rescue operation that followed showed the serious threat piracy posed to international shipping and the lengths to which naval forces are prepared to go to ensure the safety of their citizens and the security of maritime trade routes. The incident later inspired the film Captain Phillips, bringing wider attention to the risks faced by merchant mariners on the high seas. Number 11. French Navy's Sirocco Operation, 2009 In 2009, the French Navy's Sirocco operation showcased a strategic and cunning response to the persistent threat of Somali piracy in the Gulf of Aden. 
This operation involved the French naval vessel Sirocco, which cleverly misdirected Somali pirates, ultimately leading to their capture and highlighting the innovative tactics employed by naval forces against piracy. The Sirocco, pretending to be a vulnerable merchant vessel, attracted the attention of Somali pirates looking for their next target. The pirates, thinking they had found an easy prey, initiated their attack, only to realize too late that they had engaged a well-armed naval ship prepared for their tactics. This bait-and-switch technique illustrates the adaptability and strategic planning of naval forces in countering the unpredictable and dangerous nature of piracy at sea. Once the pirates made their move, the Sirocco swiftly switched from its guise to a formidable opponent. The operation was executed with precision, ensuring that the pirates were apprehended without causing harm to innocent lives or risking the crew's safety. This incident led to the capture of the pirates and also served as a deterrent, sending a clear message about the risks of underestimating international naval capabilities. By using deception and superior tactics, the French Navy effectively neutralized a pirate threat, contributing to the safety and security of the critical shipping lanes in the Gulf of Aden. This operation is a prime example of how creativity and strategy are essential in the ongoing battle against piracy. Number 12. Turkish Navy's Anti-Piracy Efforts, 2009 In 2009, the Turkish Navy took a stand against the increasing threat of Somali piracy in the Gulf of Aden, a vital maritime corridor for international trade. Demonstrating a strong commitment to maritime security, Turkish naval forces were instrumental in several anti-piracy operations, including a notable rescue operation for the MV Ice Prince. The MV Ice Prince found itself under threat from Somali pirates, who saw the vessel as a potential target for hijacking. Responding to a distress signal, the Turkish Navy quickly mobilized to assist. Demonstrating both precision and resolve, Turkish forces reached the vessel and implemented a strategic operation to ensure the safety of the crew and the integrity of the cargo. Through careful planning and execution, Turkish naval personnel managed to thwart the pirate attack, preventing the hijacking and ensuring that the pirates were unable to claim another victim in their spree of maritime crime. Number 13. Malaysian MMEA's Action, 2017 In 2017, the Malaysian Maritime Enforcement Agency, MMEA, demonstrated its commitment to combating piracy with a successful operation against the hijacking of an oil tanker. This incident put a spotlight on Malaysia's role in regional efforts to ensure maritime security and safeguard vital shipping routes. The oil tanker, carrying 900,000 liters of diesel, became a target for pirates seeking valuable cargo. The hijacking posed not only a threat to the crew's safety, but also to the environmental health of the region, given the potential for an oil spill. Responding with urgency, the MMEA launched a sophisticated operation to recover the tanker and ensure the safety of its crew. Using intelligence and coordination with international partners, the MMEA located the hijacked vessel. Special forces boarded the tanker in a daring nighttime operation, overcoming the pirates without any harm to the crew or the environment. The operation resulted in the capture of the pirates who faced legal consequences for their actions. Number 14. American Forces Encounter In a notable encounter in 2019, Somali pirates made a critical mistake by attacking a vessel they believed was operated by Russian forces, only to find themselves facing the formidable might of the American Navy. This incident vividly highlights the perils of engaging with U.S. naval power and shows the United States' unwavering commitment to protecting maritime interests. The pirates, under the command of a figure named Balingo, were directed by their captain to board the ship, anticipating an easy target. However, the atmosphere bristled with tension as they approached, only to realize too late that they had challenged an American ship. The pirates' misjudgment led to a swift and decisive response from the American forces. Upon realizing their grave error, the pirates attempted to execute their plan, but were met with overwhelming force. Balingo was shot following the commands of his superior, showcasing the immediate and uncompromising action taken by the U.S. forces to neutralize threats. Number 15. Cruise Ship Mishap 
In a striking display of maritime security, a pirate's attempt to board a cruise ship ended in failure, showcasing the preparedness and vigilant defenses of naval security on board. This incident highlights the significant measures taken to ensure the safety of passengers and crew against the threat of piracy. The pirate, acting alone, saw an opportunity in a dangling rope and decided to climb aboard the vessel. However, the security personnel on the cruise ship were on high alert. As the pirate made his way up, he was immediately spotted by an observant security officer. The pirate, caught completely off guard by the swift response, found himself in custody before he could pose any real threat to those on board. Number 16. Double Win by the Indian Navy, 2024. In January 2024, the Indian Navy showcased its operational prowess and commitment to maritime security by successfully rescuing crew members from two Iranian fishing vessels, the Iman and the Al Naimi, hijacked by Somali pirates. This remarkable feat highlighted the Navy's capability to execute multiple simultaneous operations, reinforcing its role as a guardian of the high seas. Responding to distress calls, the INS Citra patrol vessel sprang into action, locating and engaging the pirates who had taken control of the Iranian vessels. The first operation led to the rescue of 17 Iranian crew members from the Amman, while the second operation saved 19 Pakistani nationals aboard the Al Naimi. In a display of precision and bravery, the Indian Navy managed to apprehend the pirates on the Al Naimi, capturing 10 individuals without causing harm to the hostages or the responding naval personnel. These successful rescues were part of a broader effort by the Indian Navy to combat piracy and ensure the safety of maritime traffic in the region. By conducting these operations, the Indian Navy safeguarded the lives of the crew members and sent a strong message to pirates about the resolve and readiness of naval forces to counter threats to maritime security. Number 17. Chandler Couple Released, 2009. In 2009, Paul and Rachel Chandler, a British couple, experienced the harrowing ordeal of being kidnapped by Somali pirates while sailing from the Seychelles to Tanzania. Their captivity lasted for over a year, highlighting the complex and prolonged nature of some piracy incidents. The pirates demanded a $7 million ransom, setting off a tense and prolonged negotiation process that drew international attention. Despite the grave situation, the British government maintained its stance against paying ransoms, a policy aimed at discouraging future kidnappings. This stance prolonged the Chandler's ordeal, but was crucial in upholding a principle that paying ransoms only fuels further piracy. The breakthrough came when a ransom was finally negotiated by a private initiative from the Chandler family and well-wishers. Though the exact amount was not disclosed, it was significantly less than the pirates' original demand. Their release in November 2010 marked the end of a 388-day nightmare. Number 18. MV Lila Norfolk Hijacking Attempt, 2024. In January 2024, the Indian Navy displayed its rapid response capabilities by thwarting an attempt to hijack the Liberian-flagged MV Lila Norfolk. This incident unfolded in the Arabian Sea, marking yet another attempt by Somali pirates to seize control of a commercial vessel, but this time, they met with prompt and decisive action. The MV Lila Norfolk, with 21 crew members aboard, including 15 Indians, sent out a distress signal on the 4th of January after being boarded by six armed pirates. The Indian Navy's warship INS Chennai was quickly dispatched to the location. Utilizing strategic maneuvers and a display of force, the Navy managed to prevent the hijackers from taking control of the vessel. The pirates, Realizing the strength and resolve of the responding naval forces, decided to abandon their hijacking attempt. When the Indian Navy personnel arrived on the MV Lila Norfolk, they found that the pirates had left, and all crew members were safe and unharmed. Number 19. Chinese Navy Combat In 2010, the Chinese Navy faced a direct challenge from Somali pirates attempting to hijack a Chinese merchant vessel in the Gulf of Aden. This incident put the spotlight on China's resolve and capability to protect its maritime interests against piracy, a growing concern in one of the world's busiest shipping lanes. As the pirates approached the vessel with the intent to board and hijack it, they were met with determined resistance. 
the Chinese naval forces, patrolling the area as part of their commitment to international anti-piracy efforts, responded with precision and overwhelming firepower. Naval gunfire was directed towards the pirates, a clear demonstration of the Chinese Navy's readiness to use force to ensure the safety of its commercial fleet and crew. The pirates, faced with the superior firepower and tactical advantage of the Chinese Navy, had no choice but to surrender. Their attempted attack quickly turned into a desperate bid for survival, resulting in their capture. This operation secured the safety of the vessel and its crew and also served as a warning to other pirates contemplating similar ventures. Number 20. Dutch Marine Encounter In April 2011, Dutch Marines found themselves in a direct confrontation with Somali pirates, highlighting the dangerous reality of maritime security operations. This encounter occurred off the coast of Somalia, a hotspot for piracy that threatens international shipping routes. The Dutch forces, patrolling the area as part of international efforts to combat piracy, encountered a hijacked Iranian boat controlled by pirates. The situation escalated quickly. The pirates, armed and determined to maintain control of their prize, did not anticipate the skill and resolve of the Dutch Marines. When the Marines approached to retake the hijacked vessel, the pirates opened fire, initiating a violent exchange. The Dutch forces, trained for such high-stakes encounters, responded with precision and necessary force. This engagement resulted in the deaths of two pirates, a somber outcome that shows the lethal risks of piracy and the lengths to which naval forces will go to protect maritime safety. The remainder of the pirates were either captured or fled, and the crew of the hijacked vessel was rescued. While we may not fully grasp the complex motivations and circumstances behind each act of piracy, these incidents remind us of the ongoing challenges in maritime security.